So this time the government is leaving nothing to chance. Facts are being put out in public domain. The government has clarified CA does not take away citizenship of any Indian citizen irrespective of what their religion might be. The ruling party is also claiming this. The government insists that this law, CAA, the notification of the law only enables persecuted minorities in a specific region, which is Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh, to get citizenship in India. Rules are also being put online. BJP says this is not anti-Muslim, but tension remains high. Information just coming in and we'll show you those images. Police forces have been deployed in numbers in sensitive areas to ensure that peace is maintained and the kind of violence that was seen last time. There are no riots, no violence and no fear-mongering. But there is already some fear-mongering. Joining me on India First is Saira Shah Halim. Now, we've kept a non-political panel of analysts to get you all sides of the story. Saira Shah Halim, Sayyad Asad Abbas and Shubhrashtra join me on the show. And Saira Shah Halim, I want to begin by asking you, ma'am. Mamta Banerjee has in the past used words like CA implementation over my dead body. Today, she said she will not uh, allow it in Bengal. Why this opposition if persecuted religious minorities in Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan get Indian citizenship, ma'am? Say good evening, Gaurav. First, let's be very clear. It's all about the electoral bonds and the rest is just distraction. Right now, the BJP government is panicking that the Supreme Court wording in the morning is going to serve notice to the SBI to provide data on the buyers and Ma sellers. So that's a separate story. That's a separate story. This is a separate bonds. story. You know, no, electoral I mean, bonds, we, we've just, just had a debate, we've just had a discussion on electoral bonds just half an hour earlier. This is about CEA. My question to you is very specific. If Hindus a religious minority in Pakistan, Hindus are a religious minority in Bangladesh, they're a religious minority in Afghanistan. If Hindus or Sikhs or Buddhists or Jains, if they get citizenship in India, why this opposition? See, firstly, Gaurav, this is a violent... Violation of the Constitution of India, Article 14, because here it amounts to defining who a persecuted community is based on religion. It is an open challenge to secularism. It is an open so challenge to Hindus are being discriminated in Pakistan. It's uh, secularism of India that is challenged. Gaurav, if you could kindly allow me to finish and then we can, you know, debate over this. Because here, it is very clear that the Sangh Parivar has nothing but a communal agenda. And it is completely disregarding every other community aside the six communities that are mentioned in the very contentious CAA. Can we aren't the Ahmadiyya Muslims a persecuted community? Are Ahmadiyya uh, they are considered community. Muslims? You know, they no, are Ahmadiyya are considered Muslims. You know, Gaurav, you know, it will get very difficult if you'll allow me to, if you'll not allow me to talk just for, just for a minute. Because here, the Kerala government has very categorically said that the citizenship amendment is a discriminatory act which is resorting to relegate the Indian Muslims to second class citizens. How? Because here, it's very apparent because here there are six communities that are mentioned who are the persecuted com community and it is a violation. In Pakistan, of our Bangladesh, and Afghanistan, I'm just clarifying no, 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 for the benefit no, of our viewers. Second. I hope our viewers understand that the Ahmadiyya community in Pakistan is a persecuted community. So the you want Ahmadiyyas to get Indian citizenship? I'm saying anybody is not about the Ahmadiyyas, Gaurav. It's about any persecuted community from any faith, any religion. If they apply for asylum or citizenship of India, it should be given without debating on the community. Why is one particular, one particular community not included in the ambit, you know, of the CAA, that is the main contention. And here, just before the 2024 general election, the government... Shubhrashtra, Shubhrashtra, respond. The this is discriminatory. It is anti-Muslim. It makes Indian Muslims second-class citizens is Saira Shah Halim's contention. Gaurav, a couple of points. To begin with, this entire act is has a context. The context goes beyond, you know, Mr. Modi becoming the prime minister in 2014. This, this has a context way, way back in history. That's point number one. Point number two, 
this act how i want to understand how is it against indian muslims in the very first place we are saying that we are a democracy we are saying that as a democracy we have choose chosen a set of uh, you know people to rule uh, to sorry uh, uh, make policies in this country those set of people very democratically brought in this act and this act has laid out certain provisions for religious minorities in the said countries that you have been you know time and again you've been you you've been mentioning them if saira shah alim feels that ahmadiyya muslims are persecuted in pakistan and they can they apply for indian citizenship well they can apply for indian citizenship it's not like they cannot indian government is not asking ahmadiyya muslims to just stay away it is just giving preference to these particular no but minor- why hasn't it mentioned muslims is the point that saira shah alim has raised well, why does well, it choose I- to leave out muslims If no, this, it this, doesn't choose this, to leave out. This is anti-Muslim. Let me correct you. Let me correct you. It says minorities in these particular countries. Now, aren't Ahmadiyas not? No, 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 no. no. Ahmadiyas not Muslims. They're very specifically there. There are six communities that are mentioned there. Saira, I'm not with them. I did not intervene when you were speaking, madam. I did not intervene when you were speaking. Extend the same courtesy. You yourself use the word Ahmadiyya and Muslims together. Which clearly means they are from the Muslim community. Pakistan is a Muslim nation. Hold on, madam. Bangladesh is a Muslim country. Afghanistan is a Muslim country. So they obviously they cannot be called minorities in the religious sense of the term. Yes, community-wise, certain hardliners, fundus, fundamentalists in Pakistan may not consider Ahmadiyas and Muslims. So that is a Pakistani problem. However. on human right grounds if an ahmadiyya muslim says they want to accept indian citizenship if they apply for indian citizenship i don't think gorov the act anywhere says that the existing process of uh, pe- people becoming citizens of india has okay. been you know, done away with 